he only ever come in third man pushing guys in the back. He, most of the action was already done by the time he come in, coming mouth and off and carrying on and that's who he is and I think we saw it for many, many years and that's, uh, I suppose that's why people are frustrated and wanting to be knocked out. He hated us, we hated him and every time he came up here he was always enemy number one. On the field you just wanted to hurt him and everyone in Queensland hated him and he just keeps calling us two heads and keeps hating Queenslanders so Queenslanders keep hating him. Up yours Queensland. I played against him in a schoolboy competition. Uh, it would have been 1999. He's always been Larry, he's always been loud. He's always been happy to stand front and centre with anyone and uh, I suppose say what, he, say what he thinks and act, act like what he thinks. So he's, um, yeah, he's always been a big competitor. This is more getting under the skin of the players and trying to intimidate them, try and bash them as much as you can. And sometimes that rubs people the wrong way, but you know, that's not my problem. I can't change who I am as a player. That's the only way I knew how to play. Queensland, it was a tough time, a real tough time. I, uh, as a kid, I, I never followed an NRL team, I just loved New South Wales. So to be able to play for New South Wales and, and captain them was a, a dream come true and something I was really proud of and happy to do. But then when you get there, you reevaluate your goals and you, you want to be you want to be successful. And we just hit this Queensland team that I think is the best origin team you'll see ever. Yeah, you could see it burns him. Yeah, he could never get in front of Queensland. He beat us once, but we beat him a lot. There's no doubt that he that it burns him. They were hard times, they were really hard times. Really, really hard days as a rugby league player. You, know, you get to that level, you want to enjoy yourself and have fun, and it wasn't enjoyable, it was hard. He was their leader, so he was the one that we wanted to come after. I just bash him, physically just bash him. Just, you know, that starts on a kick chase. Myself and GI would always run down as fast as we can and be physical on those first two or three plays, and then our middles would just target him and, you know, just try and sit him on his ass and uh, do everything possible to upset him. I remember even when I fought and had to fight eight miles that night, I come out of a little shine under mic because someone come in and threw an uppercut, um, Corey Parker. Yeah, you know, Nate had his hands down and Gell put, I think, two on his chin and, you know, it's a bit of a dog shot when you look at it. You know, if someone gets hurt, we're, we're straight in there sticking up for him. It's the old Queensland two-on-one, isn't it? We've seen it plenty of times over the years. We saw it again this year in Origin and uh, we'll see it again on the 15th of September. But I'm determined to make sure the, the result's different this time. For him to come up here and try and knock myself and Benny out, I think that'll just give him that little bit extra satisfaction that he's probably been seeking, but you know, we'll make sure that he doesn't come up here and get a victory on our home ground. We'll make sure that one of us knock him out. You know, this isn't going to be a boxing fight. Well, I think we all know that. You know, it's going to be a street fight. I saw the, the Hannett when he fought Hannett, and I think that a little bit of a, something went wrong, and Hannett went to touch gloves and just sort of <laughs> make peace, and he just tried to whack him straight away. Sort of took a step back, he took a step back and then I just went for him, but he's the one that stuck his gloves out. But in my mind, I was thinking, well, let's just play on. You know, if Kel does the same thing, I'm going to do the same thing to him. I'll be coming back on September 15 to, to right all them wrongs from years ago. I remember when I first called him out the fight, he said, be careful what you wish for. And obviously it should, he should have realised that's himself because he wanted two fights and now he's got two proud queens that don't want to knock him out and we're going to try and bash the crap out of him. After I fight when he's on the ground, knocked out, I think that's when I'll, I'll shake his hand. I might even help him get up.